Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have Nine of Water. Your wishes come true with Seven of Air. Plans. Someone's being very strategic here in order to get what they want. Definitely have a, a plan here set in place in order to achieve something that they've longed for. I wish I had treated you better. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, so someone's definitely acknowledging the past and uh, the actions, how they've affected the situation and you here. Uh, definitely wanting to fix this. Overall energy, Ace of Swords. Something that needs to be brought to light here, as well as confessing the truth. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Tower, Two of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So it's kind of like uh, lately there might have been some things uh, in your home environment or at your job here where you've had to make some tough decisions that you really didn't want to make. This could be in regards to people or relationships as well. Uh, it seems like, you know, obstacles have been coming your way left and right and you have been able to dodge them somewhat, but uh, some have, you've had to make some tough decisions. It looks like uh, you, you chose wisely here and things that uh, are about to be revealed to you are in your favor. So really things that are happening are a blessing in disguise. It may not feel like that uh, during the moment, but it definitely is clearing the uh, way here to bring in new energy. Okay, so I see in regards to your person, you feel like, uh, you know, things can't go back to the way that they were. This person really didn't make a decision uh, when it came to you, didn't really put you as a priority as well, and you felt like you, they had the choice. They were able to really uh, make a move here to be with you the way that you thought they were going to. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your person's energy. We have Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles, and the Devil. So this person's uh, kind of in this energy of feeling very stuck on you right now. Uh, they're definitely waiting. They feel like uh, almost this possessive energy that they can't stop thinking about you, but they feel like you belong to them in a sense. And that their turn will come around where they will have the chance for this to turn back in their favor. All right, tell me the Devil card. Three of Swords Hermits, yeah, they realize they hurt you deeply here. And there's uh, possibly been some separation here for a while, I see, with the Three of Swords Hermit. But they feel like they got torn away from you, uh, not in a sense of their own doing, but also in their environment. But they should have chose wiser uh, when things started crashing down for them, okay? So some unforeseen circumstances, they felt like they dealt with the wrong way. And uh, not only did they hurt you, but they felt like to be separated from you has really devastated them. Uh, but they didn't feel like they could come forward here as well. So let's see uh, what's going on in the past here. We have King of Cups, Death Card, and the King of Pentacles. So in the past, uh, you know, this person was deeply devoted to you uh, when it came to ha their emotions, right? Their heart really felt like it belonged to you here, okay? Very secreted, almost a stubborn energy as well with the King of Pentacles. Uh, they felt like, you know... I want to be able to give them and be with them the way that they that I want, but I can't do that in the current moment. And there's some things that they needed to reveal to you why they couldn't do that. For some of you, you knew a little bit, okay, if it's a third party, but they didn't give you specifics here. It was a lot worse off than you thought. Um, and with the death card, they knew this, they would have to completely transform their life in order to be with you. So this means making drastic changes as well as being a different person to you. So they were really knowing what they were doing in the beginning here. So let's see uh, this death card. I just heard they were so secretive. So yeah, they might have really held back telling you anything um, about their situation or just details. Eight of Wands, come with the Eight of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person held back so much. 
Uh, there got a point in the situation where you felt so unsafe emotionally. You felt very vulnerable. Uh, even this person, for some of you, a third party, I really am seeing that the fact that they know so much information or uh, you were starting to distrust them and this connection, that they were trying to possibly backstab you here. Okay, and that's just for a select few. But you really didn't trust them up until the point where it almost felt like they became the enemy. And this is somebody that you truly loved, that you could really trust in the beginning. And it's like, how did this, you're asking yourself, how did this transition all of a sudden to where now I really feel like this person could be so uh, distrustful that I, they're my enemy, that I don't know if they even have my back. Are they just playing with me here? Did they do this on purpose or use me? Okay. So let's see what the challenge was here. This person felt like whatever had happened, uh, some unforeseen circumstance here, it felt like they had to step up and take care of other people or really take care of uh, their finances or maybe they were in charge of a business or managing it here because King of Pentacles sometimes represents that. So just for a select few, not for everyone, but uh, really the foundation is the same that this person just uh, felt like they couldn't be with you in the way that they wanted because something has happened that they did not tell you about. They kept a lot of secrets. Okay, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. They were one foot in and one foot out always. Uh, it's almost like you couldn't trust the fact that when they did come forward or communicate with you, uh, you didn't trust that their intentions were really true, right? Even if they were nice to you or asking you about your day or your life, were they trying to use that information against me later on? On. Okay, so I'm picking up a lot of suspicious energy here when it comes to you uh, in regards to them. And with the Four of Cups, it was such a disappointing situation. But what I see is this person definitely uh, rejected you so much emotionally at times. You felt like, you know, what what is up here? Almost at towards the end, I felt like, wow, this person, I just can't even trust them. I think they never felt that way from the beginning. It was too good to be true. They were just trying to hurt me here. Okay. Tell the Knight of Pentacles. This very slow moving situation. Yeah. Very wishy washy. At times it felt so stagnant, like nothing was happening. Was this person uh, ever coming back? Okay. And it felt like, you know, when they did come back, they acted like it was no big deal. Like they kind of brushed things out of the rug. And if you did try to discuss something here, they wouldn't really address it. Really uh, kind of beat around the bush. Some of the Four of Cups. Star Justice. Yeah. Why it was so unbalanced, but so unfair to you how they treated you. But what I see is that it's almost like, why did I get stuck in this thing? This person seemed too good to be true, right? Everything might be false because even from the beginning, this person, I couldn't trust them all the way along. And it just got worse and worse. I see this progression. It just felt like, wow, I need to keep this person out of my life then because I don't trust them at all. Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take here. Six of Wands, World, and the Magician. So this person starting over from ground zero, okay? After the dust settles here in the tower, there is a new beginning coming towards you here. And this person feels like they have the power within them uh, to do something very extreme that they feel like uh, might get you on board. Okay, so if this reading is resonating with you and the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.